Jim, good morning here. Matt with Muscatel Burns Ford. Here is a 2011 Lincoln Navigator EL Black Chrome Pack you were asking about. Um, do a little walk around here to show you the vehicle that we have and uh, see what you think about it. Nice unit. We just took it in the other day. Um, tires look a little over half. Tread is pretty decent on there. Do a little walk around here. Um, it is E85 compatible. It does have that option. No fuel cap on these too because they did. They Ford put a deal on there so you don't have to worry about the fuel cap anymore. You just have to fill her up and go. Um, nice looking truck though. Um, that chrome really brings it out with the black here. It really looks nice. Uh, satellite ready radio. With that chrome pack you get the chrome uh, embellishments along the side. Also the chrome bars on top, um, chrome exhaust tip, and then the wheels I believe too there. This one does have a trailer hitch too. I'm not going to remove that little cover there, but it's underneath that cover. Uh, jump inside and take a look here at this unit and see what we got for miles and stuff on it. Got your touchless keypad here as well for your codes to put in. Um, turn signals on the mirrors there as well. It does have the integrated step that comes down when you open and shut the door. Kind of nice. It tucks it up underneath the unit too. Get it out of the way. Really clean. Nice thing about the Navigator too, they do have the nice little uh, emblems all over the place. They really accent the vehicle nicely with their chrome, pass, chrome pieces and whatnot. Foldable mirrors, you touch or push your back, the mirrors do fold in. Push it back, they fold back out. If I would have them on the right direction there, you gotta have the knob centered there for that to work. A couple other nice features about the vehicle, you do have uh, automatic pedals, forward, backwards, um, tilting steering wheel, leather seats, really nice clean leather seats, don't really see anything, any tears or rips or stains or anything in them. Um, complete power, you also got the lumbar support, the automatic set for driver as well. In the different locations you want. Jump in and I'll get you some miles off the car. Looks like we have 19,697. Uh, nice gauge cluster there, that is pretty. Um, hands yeah, free controls here. Sorry help. about that. Hand controls here for volume, uh, MIDI device, uh, the sync system as well. And you also have your cruise control switches on this side here. Nice center console here. Right on top you got uh, a little uh, analog clock, then you do have your navigation system here with uh, CD player and all the other bells and whistles of that. Um, dual climate control, cool and, or excuse me, air conditioned and heated seats, um, push button four wheel, auto, four two, four four, um, power outlet encased in this little deal down here. Got your cup holders center console with the sync system in it um, that's where you can plug in a USB for like an iPhone or whatnot so you can run stuff through the system but you can also do hands-free where you can Bluetooth sync it in here as well quite a bit of storage in there uh, we got a sunroof in this vehicle as well up top we do have storage for sunglasses you have the controls for your sunroof and then on the passenger side here, you do also have another power outlet down by the feet, right here. Plug in a phone or whatever you may, may want to plug in there. Cup holders, you got two here, two in the front. Sorry about that, I'm dropping stuff here. Let me jump to the back seat and we'll take a look what we have back there as well. You're asking about the split bench seat. This one has the split seat with the console in the center. A um, little bit of storage in the door here too in the back for the for the rear seat occupants. Uh, get in the back, you flip the button down here, seat folds down, and you do get your third row seat back here. Quite a bit of room. Cup holders on each side, two on this side, one on the other. Um, but we'll take a look here at what we have to offer in the front. You do have another 12 volt plug in here in the back, and then you also do have uh, 
just a regular standard plug there if you'd like. Rear air control, um, heated seats for the rear here. And then you also do have a rear radio back here for that. Cup holders there, so you got four cup holders. Plenty of storage in here. And then the rear air is in the ceiling, as you can see. It's kind of hard to aim here. But... Then in the back, you do get a little bit of storage right down there as well. All right, let me jump out and we'll take a look at the way back here and see what we got. And it does have the backup camera as well. I didn't point that out before. But you do get a lot of storage in the back here as well. You can pop up this little deal. That's where your jack is at. And you also do have the option to flip this guy over. Or flip it up, excuse me. And you do have a little spot to put some stuff in there if you'd like. And these, I forgot to mention that, power folding seats to you. Flip the button and the seats fold down nicely. You gotta put the headrest on to be able to get those down all the way. And here's your button for your automatic rear tilt shut power hatch. Well, I'll get this video off to here, Jim, and uh, if you have any more questions on the unit, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, clean truck. Let me know if you'd have a trade or whatnot on this too. If you need any more information, just let me know. My name is Matt Halseth with Muscatel Burns Ford, and I do appreciate your time. Have yourself a great day.